Adam Pascale, why did this earthquake happen now? Well, earthquakes have been happening for millions of years and then that region there, uh, it's obviously a lot of mountains in there and that's been formed by earthquake over millennia. Um, we can't unfortunately predict earthquakes, so you know, when they occur is really out of our control, um, but it's not an unexpected region for one. Do we know what caused this one to happen? No, it's normal tectonic process. Basically, our tectonic plate that we're uh, within is being pushed around and stress builds up in that plate. Uh, and then occasionally you know, that, that stress will exceed the strength of the rock, it will break, and that's the earthquake. Yeah. Oh, I've never had an earthquake in here before. Is a moderate event like this indicative of anything more serious coming down the track? Certainly when you have an earthquake, particularly of this sort of magnitude, um, there is an increased chance of further activity, as we've seen with the aftershock since. Uh, as time goes on, that, that chance diminishes. But, um, yeah, so certainly we're alert. But as you say, there's nothing you can really do to predict that. No. Um, the only only thing we, really, we can do is, is to have a good idea of where these sorts of things occur and be prepared for... Uh, what to do when there is that sort of event and, and the public sort of really need to understand about protecting themselves during an event like this. Well, I wanted to ask you about that. What, because we don't have them that often in Australia, it's not sort of uh, the forefront of people's minds. What is the right thing to do if you're in a building and you start to feel it shake like that? When you feel strong motion, uh, the, the little phrase that we use is drop cover and hold on. So you drop, get under a solid a uh, thing like a table and hold on to that uh, table while it's shaking because it actually might move. Most injuries and deaths are caused by debris falling on people, so we want to minimise the, the chance of that happening, which is also why we tell people not to run outside because there could be, you know, masonry falling, uh, as we saw in Melbourne today. It, it, it's maybe quite hard to uh, not want to flee the building because, of course, you want to get out of it. So it probably feels a little bit counterintuitive. How often is it that an entire building will collapse? Because that would be people's fear that you'd be under a table maybe and the whole building might collapse on you. Yeah, I, I think once a strong shaking shake uh, is, is, has finished, then you can certainly exit the building in case. But um, the for an earthquake uh, of this size to cause a building to collapse, it would have to be very, very close by. I mean, we're talking here a slightly smaller earthquake than the Christchurch earthquake, but in that case, that earthquake was very, very close to the CBD, whereas in this case we're talking about 100 kilometres from Melbourne where most of that large infrastructure is. So it really would, would only be the case when you have a very, very strong shake in very nearby. People have been told to expect aftershocks. How are they likely to compare to what was experienced today? Normally we'd see the, the largest aftershock in a sequence like this to be about a magnitude unit smaller than the main shock. So this is a 5.8, 5.9. So we could expect you know, magnitude 4.8, 4.9 uh, aftershocks. There was one about 15 minutes after the main shock in the magnitude 4 range. Um, and... Dozens and dozens. Every couple of minutes, we've got one going off, and they're in the sort of one, two, three range. These will continue for days and weeks uh, to the level that they will be felt, and potentially months and years for when we can detect them using our instruments. Adam Pascale, thank you very much. Thank you, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.